Welcome back, forensic students, to today's lesson where we were talking all about lab safety symbols. So before we get started, I just want to say that this does not include all of the safety symbols that you might see um, this year in the classroom or um, in the lab. Uh, so your teacher will let you know if there are additional symbols other than the ones that we cover today. We're just going to go over some basics. All right, the first symbol that we're going to talk about is the glassware safety symbol, which is represented usually by an Erlenmeyer flask. And what this symbol represents is the fact that you are going to be working with something in the lab that's made of glass. This could be a test tube, this could be a beaker, an Erlenmeyer flask, a thermometer. Um, and there's a couple things you need to make sure you remember when you are using glassware. For one, make sure that you never use broken glassware. In fact, it's a good habit just to check over your glassware before you start a lab, just to make sure there's no cracks or chips. And if there are, make sure that you let your teacher know. Never heat glassware that's not thoroughly dried. Um, that could cause a lot of problems. I don't know if you've ever done this, but if you have a flat top stove, if you have like a pot that's wet and you put it on a hot stove, it'll actually slide. So in the classroom, you can imagine how many problems that would cause if you had some something hot um, or a piece of glassware and you put it, it was wet and you put it on a hot plate and it slid off onto the floor. Um, so that's why that rule exists. Use heat resistant gloves or tongs or clamps or some sort of utensil or device um, if you have to pick up and transfer hot glassware from one place to another. Make sure that you always clean your glassware thoroughly before you put it away. And you're going to want to make sure that your safety goggles are worn anytime you're using or working with glassware in the classroom. Now, the next two lab safety symbols that we're going to talk about sort of exist together because sometimes you'll see these symbols, um, well, very often you'll see these symbols paired together. So the first symbol that I want to talk about is the open flame symbol. This is known as our fire safety symbol. It just means that you're going to be working with an open flame. So this could be like a Bunsen burner or this could be like a candle uh, where you're going to heat something with the flame. You also have something called a heat safety symbol. So this symbol is usually represented with an oven mitt or a hot mitt. Um, and it just means that you're going to be working with something that's going to get hot or may increase in temperature. All right, so with either of these symbols, we have to wear safety goggles. So make sure that when you're working with heat or fire, you put on those safety goggles. You never want to heat anything unless your teacher instructs you to do so. So make sure you listen to oral instructions and you read any written instructions that you have. Never heat anything in a closed container. We know heat in a closed container increases pressure, and that would not be good um, if you have like uh, a bunch of students in the classroom and you were heating something in an Erlenmeyer flask and you had a rubber stopper uh, that was closing up the contents of the flask. Uh, if that rubber stopper was to pop off, that could cause a lot of problems. So just a good practice is to never heat anything with a closed container. Never reach across a flame and that's for obvious reasons. Um, always use clamps, tongs, or heat-resistant gloves if you're going to handle hot objects. Make sure that you have a clean work area. Um, and a lot of times your teacher will tell you to have nothing on your work area, especially if you're using an open flame like a Bunsen burner. Be sure that you know the location of a fire extinguisher and fire blanket, and your teacher will let you know if you're in the classroom. Your teacher will let you know where that is. All right, so our next symbol is the chemical safety symbol, and it is represented with a skull and crossbones. Um, now, typically in real life, the skull and crossbones means poisonous, and we, of course, want to treat all chemicals as if they're poisonous in the lab, but you're going to see this symbol even if you're working with vinegar or rubbing alcohol or um, over-the-counter hydrogen peroxide. So, 
um, you're going to see the chemical symbol because your teacher is going to want you to um, follow certain protocol uh, with disposal. And that's the way your teacher is going to let you know that you're working with chemicals that might have to be disposed of properly. Um, and of course, all things in the science classroom could potentially be dangerous depending on what you're doing. So chemical safety symbol, you'll see it a lot in science labs. Couple things to remember when you're working with chemicals, never smell chemicals directly. So if you have to notice an odor, your teacher may um, ask you to what's, what's called waft, which is just kind of wave um, the fumes towards your nose. Never lean over and sniff. Never mix chemicals unless you're instructed to do so. Never touch or taste chemicals unless you're instructed to do so. Be sure when you are not working with your chemicals that if there are any lids, that those lids are closed. A lot of the chemicals that we use in the science classroom are really expensive, so we don't want to risk turning those over or spilling those. Immediately rinse with water if you get any chemicals on your skin or clothes, and then just make sure that you notify um, your teacher. I did skip one, so I want to go back to this one because it's super important. Most chemicals have to be disposed of in a special way. So not all chemicals can just be washed down the drain or thrown in the trash. Uh, so make sure that you follow the instructions of your teacher. They'll let you know how to dispose of the, of the chemicals. Make sure that you know the location of the shower and eye wash station. So if you're in the classroom, your teacher will let you know where that is. On face safety, um, you're going to see that usually with a picture of safety goggles or safety glasses. And when you see this symbol, it just means that you've got to wear those safety goggles. So you're going to see this symbol paired with the um, glassware safety symbol, the chemical safety symbol a lot of times, fire and heat safety. If for some reason you have to heat a test tube, even if you're wearing um, safety goggles, make sure that you point it away from yourself and others. All right, sharp instrument safety. Sometimes you'll see this as the symbol that's represented on the screen. Oftentimes you'll see this symbol also represented with like a, um, like a scalpel or a razor blade. So either way, um, it follows the same protocol. It just means you're working with something sharp and you need to make sure that you handle sharp objects with care. If you have to cut an object, make sure that you always cut materials away from you and others. And if for some reason your skin gets cut, this includes paper cuts, um, make sure that you notify your teacher. Right, electrical safety, that means that we're going to be working with electricity and there's certain rules that we want to follow when we're working with electrical appliances. So um, just make sure that you don't have two, more than two appliances plugged in in any one outlet. We don't want to overload our electrical outlets. Never touch an electrical appliance or outlet with wet hands. Um, remember, electricity and water, they're not friends, so you want to keep those things away from one another. Keep liquids away from appliances and outlets. Something else I want to point out that's not on the screen here, keep objects out of outlets as well. So um, make sure that you don't stick pencil points in there or anything else um, in our electrical outlets. Our animal safety symbol, this means we're going to be um, dealing or working with animals. Sometimes those animals are live. Sometimes those are preserved specimens. So a fetal pig would be an example, or a sheep's eye would be an example, a cow heart would be an example. Um, so these all have certain protocol that go along with them. So do not cause pain or injury to an animal. This definitely includes live animals, but this also includes specimens. And I know, you know, if something's not alive, it can't feel pain. But you, if it would cause pain to the specimen or object or animal if it were alive, don't do it, um, even if it's preserved. Don't perform inhumane stunts or actions with animals or specimens. This means, like, you can't take your pencil points and stick it in the fetal pig's eyeball 
or if we're dissecting a frog, you can't chase other students in the room with the frog. Make sure that you wash your hands after handling animals or their cages. So if you have a class pet and you're in charge of cleaning out the cage or you just somebody brings in their pet snake and you pass it around, um, just make sure that you wash your hands after you touch them. Um, this also includes specimens. So if we are dissecting something and we've handled specimens, make sure that you wash your hands before leaving the classroom. All right, so now what I'm going to do is just kind of go through and show you the pictures of the symbols we just discussed. Um, and you can either jot down the name of the safety symbol or you can just think about it in your head. Um, but you need to be able to recognize the name of the safety symbol when you see the picture. So what does this safety symbol stand for? So this is our eyewear safety symbol. Just means we've got to wear goggles. Right, this is our animal safety symbol. Remember, rules apply for both live specimens and preserved specimens. Right, this is our electrical safety symbol. It means we're working with electricity or some sort of appliance that has to be plugged in. Right, if you... Um, didn't recognize this one, it's because in the lesson I actually showed you a different symbol for this one, but I told you that sometimes you would see it in different ways. So here we have like a razor blade symbol. Um, it means sharp instrument safety. So it means you're going to be working with something sharp. You just have to make sure that you are very careful. Right, so the hot mitt or the oven mitt um, symbol is our heat safety symbol. Um, an example would be like if we're doing a chemical reaction lab and we're going to mix two chemicals that increase in temperature, your teacher might put this symbol to let you know that something's going to get warm or hot or increase in temperature. You will also see this safety safety symbol paired um, with your fire safety symbol. All right, so this symbol is our chemical safety symbol. So remember the skull and crossbones typically means that something's poisonous, but in the science classroom, it is associated with all chemicals because we're supposed to treat all chemicals that we use in the classroom as um, potentially hazardous, dangerous, poisonous chemicals. So the Erlenmeyer uh, flask symbol is known as our glassware safety symbol. It means that you're working with glassware. You might be asked to put on goggles. All right, and the very last thing we're going to do in today's lesson is this little matching activity. So if you will, on a sheet of paper, number one to eight, and I want you to match the name of the safety symbol to its symbol. And when you get finished, you are done for the day.